what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, everybody I've, We've walked a little ways from our hotel And we're trying to find somewhere to eat And I think we're going to try out Jack's up here uh, that was suggested to us. There it is. It's a steak and seafood. Uh oh. So we're gonna go try that out and see what we think. Okay, guys, we're here. We actually did not go to Jack's. We went to a place called Roma, and we're fixing to order. And it's pretty much Italian, so we're gonna see what we're gonna get. Okay, everybody, I ordered the salmon and it was, it came highly recommended and Bryant got the ribeye. So we are just waiting for that, for it to come and we've already devoured our bread. Yeah, it's already gone. It's already gone. Pretty I'm starving. Pretty nice little place. Yes, it's a very nice place. Very, we're very underdressed, <laughs> but Imagine that's okay. That. I, I am starving, so I'm just, I don't care. I just want to eat. There you go. Here is my salmon. Looks delicious. The steak looks great. You ready to dig in? A yeah. little thinner than I like, but it, it looks really good. All right. All right, here we go. Okay, everybody, this is our wonderful waitress, Sarifa. She has done an excellent job. She's not only served us well, but she has told us where to go, what to do, things to do while we're here. I'm so glad I have a new friend now. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Sir Martin. There we go. All right, guys. Thank you for stopping in. Hey, 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 everybody. We just met some lovely, lovely people who stay where we're actually at now. I can't remember the name of it. Um, the Royal Islander yeah, or something like that's that. What it is, yeah. um, and they've also told us about a restaurant down here. We've made some friends already. So we're from actually, South Dakota. I don't know if you can hear, I don't know what this noise is, but it's like wildlife is so cool. So we're going to go see this restaurant. So come on, let's go. And yes, I've already eaten. I know, but we're just checking out so we know where to eat like tomorrow it's or called, the next day. It's called the Tortuga. This is called the Tortuga. But let me tell you, Saritha, if you ever go, if you're ever in St. Martin, you gotta eat at Roma's and you gotta ask for Saritha. She was amazing. She did a great job. Is this not the most gorgeous view? And we, our, our bedroom looks right out into this. Like there's a bedroom right over behind those steps. That's that one. Yep, right there. Uh -huh. Yep. Good fire there. Got a fire over there. So gorgeous view. Good morning, everybody. We are. Um, going to look for somewhere to eat breakfast this morning and it is a beautiful day Bryant got to see the sunrise I didn't get to see it um, I was in the room getting ready so we're headed out to find us something to eat breakfast Hey guys, we're in like downtown Maho Beach. We've come looking for a breakfast place and we just wanted to sightsee while we were out. We hear that the deli over there is really good. It's early, 7.45 their time. Yep, so. 6.45 Eastern Standard. We may try this crepe place if it's open. Okay everybody, so obviously Bryant and I wake up really early because nothing's open. 
They don't open till 8 a.m. So we're gonna go back to this one place and see. Are we going back or are we gonna try one of these? Let's go back. We're gonna go back to this place near the hotel and see if they're um, open. I think they are. Good morning, everybody. We're in here at a little crepe shop. We're gonna get us a crepe for break. I'm getting a crepe. Brian's getting a sandwich. Um, we finally settled on somewhere to eat breakfast. Okay, everybody, we have an empty plate. The crepe plate got finished, and half the sandwich got finished. It was huge. So we're taking half the sandwich back with us. It was delicious. Okay, everybody, we are, I'm walking up to the lobby. Um, Brian, we have scheduled a three hour tour. One of the good fellas that works here hooked us up with one of his buddies that has a taxi, and he's gonna give us a tour of the entire island. And so we're going on a three hour tour, a three hour tour. Okay, everybody. This this is the lagoon, right? Yes. The longest lagoon in the Caribbean. On both sides. Showing that mountain. Right. Or that hill. <laughs> See, that's the other side of the lagoon right there. And introduce Bravo. All right, here's Bravo. This is our tour. My He's name is Bravo. Bravo. Give him a spiel. Who do you, what's the name of your company? My name is Bravo Taxi Service. All right. So here he's giving us a private uh, island tour today. Check him out if you ever come to St. Martin. If you ever come to St. Martin, check him out. He's giving us a great tour. And these hearts over here have locks on them. And we didn't bring a lock. But it's to lock your love. Look at all these locks. Check it out. We don't have to use a lock, do we? No, we're locked in love already. Okay, guys, this right here is the separating point. We're at the border. This side over here is the Dutch side, and this is the French side. Divide yourself there, Mom. Hey, there you go. That's cool. Hop up in and take your picture. Y'all, I just want you to look behind me. Is this not the most absolute gorgeous thing you have ever seen? And that's, that's Cold Bay, right? Cold Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. Look at all the sailboats. There were some huge yachts down there. We couldn't get good pictures of the yachts because we were in the taxi cab, but just a gorgeous view there. And we're here on, uh, on the, uh, in the Bay Area. Okay, guys, we're on the taxi tour. We're in what's called Phillipsburg. See the cruise ships over there? There's looks like two cruise ships. Look at that gorgeous blue water, or some would say uh, aqua. What color would you call it? Aqua's good on there. Yeah. So there's a little house that lost its roof during the. Uh, hang on, we're gonna stop here. I'm gonna show you some more. I think Bryant pretty much explained what this is, but this is where the port where the cruise ships come in. And I think over here is Phillipsburg. You can see some of the damage from the um, on, down let me, below. Let me get the beach and I'll show okay. them. Right, here we go. Some damage. Some damage from the hurricane. Hurricane Irma, right? Came through and destroyed a lot of stuff. Took that roof off. Look. Roofs are off these houses here. They've not been reconstructed or fixed yet. So I don't think I've ever seen water this beautiful. Oh, it and I've is. been to Jamaica, the Bahamas, but I don't think I've ever seen that. That is this picture perfect right there, I'm gonna tell you. Okay guys, we're um, at Oyster Bay right now, and we're actually standing on the French side. This is the other side of the border. So we are I don't know what they can see. Beautiful hotel out there. I think that's Oyster Bay Resort. It is projecting kind of out into the bay area. Look at all the houses up there on the mountainside. 
a lot of those he said was Airbnb rentals and uh, a lot of a lot of stuff. Look, if you can look down there, look at the devastation of the piers from the hurricane. The piers are actually gone. There's no walking boards in it. You just see the pylons left. Look down through there. See them? Yeah. Still a lot of devastation. All right, guys, here we are. He was just telling us this is where the Atlantic and the Caribbean collide, the two oceans collide. Look at the uh, disparity between the water. You can see some of the aqua color, and then you can see some of the darker blue of what you're used to as far as the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, you see St. Bart's Island way, way out there. I'm not sure what you can see. But, um, and there's another island out there, they call it Flat Island. Flat Island is uh, not habited, uh, but St. Bart's is. That's where the upper echelon of people go. They, uh, uh, they take private boats and yachts over there. And uh, man, this view right here is oh, just goodness. spectacular. I, can, <laughs> I cannot describe what we're seeing. Um, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is the one you can walk to, walk yeah. across to. It's like ankle deep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bravo, what's this area called? It's Coralita Lookout Point. What do you say? Coralita Lookout Point. Coralita Lookout Point. Yeah, Coralita Lookout Point. So, uh, anyway, just, hey, just absolutely gorgeous scene right here. Y'all, this is so beautiful. We are actually in paradise. Now this is magnificent scenery. I can't get over how beautiful this is. Alright guys, we stopped right here on the side of the road. See the iguanas right there? They are native to this area. Check it out. See the big orange one back there? Is that not cool? They, uh, she feeds them right there. So. Hey guys, we're on Orient Beach now. On the French side. On the French side. Um, this seaweed down here has a name. It starts with an S. I can't remember what it's called. There's a local right here selling it. Hats. Hats. And these things are like trampolines that float yeah, on the, yeah, the water. 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 Look at that water. water. It's kind of rough out here, doesn't the it? The island over there is the Peniel Beach or Peniel. Yep. You have to take a boat over there. Okay, guys, our friend Ravo here. Is carrying us to the famous Lolo's. So we're we gonna go. get some good traditional food here. Here we are, folks. Our famous Lolo's. Hey guys, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. It smells like heaven in here. All these places are cooking in the open and there's like four or five different restaurants. And uh, we're gonna try a lot of little, a lot, lot, lot of stuff. Okay guys, this is a saltfish fritter and this is a Johnny cake. And that's Creole sauce. Creole sauce? Creole sauce. Creole sauce. Tell us what you think. Here we go. Creole sauce sounds Haitian, doesn't it? Well, you're spilling it everywhere. Delicious. All right, guys, this is a happening place right here. Uh, Lolo's very happening place. There's Leslie, the taxi driver, um, all the people eating. This Now, that's another restaurant over there. But this is a happening place. Not sure if she got all that food on the grill, but look at that grill over there. 
they cook the meat outside on charcoal. There's there's baby back ribs over there. Look at those lobsters, the Caribbean lobsters over there. I mean, this is a this is a happening place right here. Just a and the price is fairly reasonable. So I think it was about sixteen, seventeen dollars for each entree. So uh, it's going well. Okay, guys, I'm here at one of the highlights of my trip, and this is what I got. I got ribs and chicken. And Brian got ribs. Full corn and curry rice. Curry rice, and I got rice and beans and coleslaw. Hey, guys, look at this. Look at this water. Is that not the most beautiful thing? Hey guys, y'all have got to check Ravo out. There is his number. If you ever come to St. Martin, he is the best tour guide ever. And he's he can taxi you right up there. Nope, I'll put nope, 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 nope. Oh, nope, sorry. That's not his phone number. Don't call that. You'll get hibachi steak. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right here. 1721-526-1401. I'll be sure to put all his information in down in the description so be sure to check it out look how nice he is opening the doors thank you Where we're facing over here is the capital of the French side, Marigot. It is the um, it is the capital of the French side, and I believe we told you that um, Phillipsburg was the um, capital of the Dutch side. Straight ahead. Okay. See the flagpole up there? Yeah, I'm going to try to zoom in. Way. There is an old fort on top of that hill up there. 1700. Now, what's the island over there with the high rises? That's Cooper Clay. That's what we're going to find. That's the Dutch side. The Dutch side. Okay. Cooper. Cooper Clay. Okay, everyone. We're back from our tour, y'all. Amazing tour. Please, I'm asking you, if you come to St. Martin, call Ravo's Taxi Service. I will share his information down below. Um, and please give him a call. He was so nice, so sweet, and he very knowledgeable. I learned so much about this beautiful place and um, my heart's already here and so we'll talk more about that in another video but right now right now we're really tired we're just gonna go lounge by the pool once I get this video edited and up to you guys we're just gonna go chill out at the pool for the rest of the evening we're so full from Lolo's that I don't know that we'll even eat supper if we do we'll probably go somewhere and share so I'll see you guys tomorrow on the farm and pastor's wife, where if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.